Hey guys, welcome back to another Star Trek Fleet Command fit. Hang on, let me make sure I'm actually, um, my mic is actually on this time. Is it on? Um. I'll find out after the video. So guys, I got some, some crazy stuff. I didn't get the, I didn't show the chest because, um, I was at school at the time. But, um, they released patch 30A, and I, I let me tell you something, guys. They added in, hang on a minute. They added in a new ship that is in, the new ship they added in is a Kit Bash Nightmare. And it looks so weird. It, ugh, it, it's disgusting to look at. It, I might still get it though, because I don't want other ship in the game. How many officers can I upgrade? I have 217 shards for Spock, but I can't use them. I can't use them, I don't have enough credits, of course. Have 6.5 million experience input to use. So, okay. So they add in Lursa, who, and she is one of the um, Dura sisters. Adapt as necessary. Went on a ship that you, that, ah, went on a ship that you, went on a ship that can use cloaking. Lorsa decreases the cloaking cooldown by 30%. Oh my god. Fierce power. When attacking other players, Lorsa decreases the weapons, the opponent's weapons damage by 25%. So basically boosting your ship's armor. Stop putting me all the way at the top. You also add in Bael, is what her name is. Cleon Valor. No, I would say that. Increase the ship's weapon damage by 25%. Round one attacks. Increase the ship's armor by 200% of total crew attack. This, this guy would be good on a battleship. Battleships already have heavy armor. Why not make it even heavier? Beator. Behind the scenes. When I shit that that can use cloaking, Bellator, Baytor, I don't know how to pronounce her name. Increases the duration. The ship can stay cloaked by twenty percent. Damn. Varied income streams. When on the, Emma, uh, the Amalgam, the Amalgam that is the new ship in the game. Um, Bit, um, uh, Baytor boosts the. The, 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 the bonus loot, sh, loot, loot bonus loot ship ability by ten percent. My God, can I make this even harder to say? My goodness. Anyone else? No. Okay. So um, yeah, there's a new arc. And, um, there's nothing special to it. It's the same old rewards. But, because it's the last arc, because it's the last battle pass for, um, this, for this story arc, um, they have the store available. It's just a bunch of officers that I probably won't, uh, uh, that I probably won't get, because I don't want to. Rare Borg, minor, minor special. Ooh. Officer Jayla, I don't have her yet. I don't have the Burrell cloaking refit either, but the thing is, I would need somewhere over 300,000. No, wait. Yeah. I don't have that have some. I have like somewhere over 100,000 credits to get the Burrell cloaking advice. I'm not doing that. I have for the, the um, 30,000 Klingon. Now, the Intrepid. Hang on a minute. That's not the right button, you D head. Only ten more blueprints. So, oh, another super reveal coming soon. Like I got, by the way, there is gonna be another Star Trek Fleet Command video this weekend or next week. It depends on when I'm able to get it up. 
Um, it's gonna be me um reviewing the Zakarka fist because I only need tw um I only need four more blueprints. Then you that and then you get those in the next clan clean event. For this, I'll need um eighty eight thousand credits to get the remaining ten intrepid blueprints. Of course. Now I already have all that shit. I already have the Meridian, the Vidar, Charge Nano Probes. I'm gonna get for this. Oh my god, that's a good deal. Now, these are not frequency modulators. They are frequency modulators. A hundred thousand? Wait a minute. A hundred thousand credits can give me five hundred thousand frequency modulators? That's a deal, right? That's a big ass deal right there. It's basically one for one for five. It's one credit for five frequency modulators. That's a deal in half, right? That's a deal times five right there. The four ports. Can I stop saying ports? The four parts. 110. Only for... 50,000? That's both. Spore drive components. That's a lot of spore drive components. Botany Bay, Stella, I already have those. Plutonium. Guys, I don't even need the plutonium because my Botany Bay is max. Oh, wait. My hijack ships aren't, though. Hang on, man. Wait a what the hell? So, um... I have all the hijack ships. I need plutonium to upgrade those. I'll do that soon. <clears throat> so I, get any Ooh, I can also get some crystal, gas, and ore. I can also get these, but the thing is, I don't need them. My Franklin's almost max. The Franklin Warp Core, that's cheap. The thing is, guys, I I can still get the I can, I can still get parts of the Franklin. Oh my god, I can still get parts of the Franklin. Oh my god, thirty thousand for eighty thousand. Damn. I'm having a bad day. Syndicate XP. So, one chest gives 850. So, wait. Tw if, I get, if I was able to get all 20 chests, that would be, what, 17,000? Oh, my God. Trait. That's it. That's bolt. Why is it on here twice? Oh, wait. This is the Borg store right here. <laughs> That's embarrassing. Now, guys, let's get to the, um, oh, the Amaga, the Amalgam. Oh, you'll see what I mean. But, guys, the, um, the Amal, the, the, um, Amalgam is the, um, it's a kit, it's a Star Trek Star Wars kit bash. And it's a nightmare. How on, I, by the way, guys, I don't know how to get the ship yet. I'll find out soon. Do this now, guys. I want to show you guys this nightmare of a ship. And by nightmare, I mean like a good nightmare. I mean like it's ugly. Like here it is the am the am the amalgam. Now, this ship right here. What in God's name is this? What the hell were you thinking? Wait, what is this? My guys, I looked this ship really carefully, and this is a. This is um a kit bash nightmare. It looks like it's a kit bash between. Okay, it looks like it has um. Well, it's a kit bash between a Bordis, a Bordis class. You can see the um the thing. You can tell you can see the thing right here. You can see the thing right here. That's part of the Bordis. And it's all it's also the Val door, you can tell because of the Val door wing right there. And the Burrell, which you can tell because the Burrell wing right here. And of course the Nebulon B. And guys, the reason I say it's a Star Trek um Star Wars um Kit Bash Nightmare is because this is a kit bash between four different ships. Three from Star Trek, one from Star Wars. And it's a kit bash between a Val door. A Katinga, a Burrell, and a Nebulon B frigate. 
This thing looks weird. Wait. I'm not I'm not buying on the story piece of shit. Oh that was a cloaking device. Holy shit, it's a lot of shield appears. Okay, so the um you, you, the, the, you, you guys can you guys can read that. Utility. 70 impulse speed. My god, this thing's slow. Warp range 40. Warp speed 8.1. Carling capacity. Oh my god. The starting number 588,000. Attack the car 13,000 right off the bat. My god. That's the only ship they added in. And as I said, to get Bash Nightmare. I really don't like it that much, but I'm so good, anyways. And that's all they added in, I think. Oh, also they added in this. Now a lot of people are complaining that um some of the stuff right here gets gets in the middle of the screen, so you can do this, and there you go. And it's minimized to the side of the screen and not directly in the middle because you don't want that. You also had an at new exit comps, but I'm not gonna get into that. Anyways, guys, wait, is that it? Um, that's it. Anyways, guys, be sure to subscribe, leave a like, and notifications. Goodbye.